Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Scorpio. The topic of the reading is, what is it that your person really loves about you? What is that one thing that they admire about you? Uh, so yeah, before I dive into the read, Scorpio, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages that resonate and read the rest. For preferences, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So, Scorpio, let's see. What is that one thing that your person really admires about you? What do they love the most about you? What is it? What is it that they love the most about you? What is it that they admire about you? Let's begin. Nine of Wands. Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and Four of Pentacles. Wow. So I feel like, you know, your person is um, um, really, like, you know, some for some reasons, I feel like, you know, um, it's, um, you know, it's uh, strange to see. Um, it's it's like what they think the most about you. Like, you know, I feel like, you know, they really see you as somebody who's... Um, um, who's always having the gods up. They always think that about you. I feel like, you know, it's not something that they like about you. It's what they think about you. You're always busy. You're always having your gods up. You're always like, you know, doing this and that. That's what they think most of the time when they think about you. So I really feel like uh, they're so habitual towards uh, what you give into them in, uh, in the connection. I feel like, you know, this person really sees you like that. Um, somebody who, who never has, uh, uh, you know, uh, proper way of dealing with the connection so i really feel that they are disappointed in one way or the other for for sure in you because i really feel like you know you you um you always push the wrong buttons and um you know things never go smooth because of you i feel like you know this person really blames you for a lot of things so i feel maybe right now you are having some arguments or disagreements with your person for now which is the reason why their attitude and their way of the feeling towards you is really not so positive um so it's more like you know the things that uh, they probably don't like about you is uh the things that uh, they probably dis discourage um seeing in you i feel like you know they, they also feel that uh you know, uh, they're dying to have that beginning with you, but you are resisting that. Um, you know, uh, they also feel that you take one step ahead and two steps backward. So this person really uh, wants something else and you are giving something else in the connection. There is a lot of disagreement there. I feel like, you know, this also, you know, this person also uh, wants something stable, you know, stable for from you, but you always take them as somebody who... Um, somebody who you don't feel is a marriage material or a commitment material for some reasons you do have very low uh you know that's how they feel that you feel for them it's not maybe maybe you don't feel this way for them but that's how they see uh you seeing them so this is very like you know uh this is very kind of uh crappy because i feel like you know um, this person really feels that you don't like them at all. Like, you know, if and if you do, maybe your way of expressing has been going wrong for them because I feel like, you know, they, they don't feel happy. They don't feel like, you know, as uh, as you like them at all because, um, you know, um, there is a lot of things that they desire uh, in you, but uh, they don't get that from you so this is exactly what they're thinking about you and i feel like you know there, there are so many complaints that they have from you right now there are so many issues that they're having with you uh, but let's see if we could find out if there is something that they love about you uh right now in the given situation in the given circumstances do they like something about you and if they do what is it because this is more about their complaints coming out more louder than anything so let's see if they like something about you yes or no No, they, they have lots of complaints. They really feel that you always hold on to the past. You always hold on to the past and you never uh, bring balance in the connection with them. I feel like there's a lot of, you know, oh, kind of energy in, in the situation. I feel like, you know, this person really feels that you have so many personal issues. So there is a lot that they're thinking about you, but not in, negative, not in a positive way. I really feel like, you know, this person really believes that you are 
you know, uh, you are always having issues, one or the other. But they always feel that you there is a lot that you need to release, that you need to let go of, but you're not doing that. So there are so many things that they dislike about you right now. And I feel like you know, that's what they are thinking heavily and dominantly about you. They really want this connection to go smooth, but it's not happening and the blame is definitely on you by them. So, um, wow, that's that's kind of strange because I really was expecting something lovey-dovey coming in, but this is exactly what it is and I don't sugarcoat anything. Um, I feel like, you know, this person really believes that, uh, that it's time for you to give into the connection rather than always taking it from them. So I really feel like, you know, your person is very unhappy with you and uh, really hope and wish that you could be more giving into the connection. You could bring the balance in the connection. You could release the past and have a new beginning with them. That's what they're wishing for. That's what they're wanting from you. Um, they really want you to bring love into the situation. And I feel like you know, they really see that maybe you are somebody who, who always bring the past in and spoil the current situation between the two of you. They also believe that you you need to focus on what the two of you desire together rather than thinking about what happened in the past, who did this, who did that. It's time for you to basically, like, you know, that's what they think. They really think that you need to break free from the past and give the connection the new, um, you know, chance that it deserves to have. I feel like your person is definitely very unhappy with you. Um, let's see. Um, what else uh, do they have to say to you? let's see let's see let's see let's see what else do they have to say to you let me see if i can grab this uh, um, okay um let's see what else do they have to say to you what else do they wish to say to you right now because i feel like your person is really unhappy right now they are crazily mad at you for for the things that uh have been happening in this connection wow there you go um let's see what else do they want to say they are finding it very hard to uh you know uh, they wish that you could trust them and i feel like you know this 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 person really wish that you could trust them and you could give them the love that they deserved um they really believe that right now the situation seems like kindly off uh, complete uh, completely off between the two of you um, I feel like, you know, they feel like lack of chemistry, lack of traction in this connection, which is happening right now. Um, still, they believe that it is like, you know, still worth waiting for. They're still hopeful around the connection. But again, I feel like, you know, they, they, they don't know what they want. I feel like, you know, they really feel that um, you are hiding uh, something from them. That's for sure. Um, but still, they strongly believe in this connection as well. I feel like, you know, they, they are kind of like, you know, getting, going on and off in their head about you because they really want this connection. But at the same time, they really feel that um, you are like, you know, holding yourself back from this connection. And this is something which is making this person really, really, really upset. Uh, let's see, what shall you do to give into the connection the way they desire? What shall you be doing into this uh, situation to bring some balance and happiness back in the connection. Let's see, what shall you be doing? What shall you be doing? What shall you be doing to bring the connection back on track? What shall you be doing to bring the connection back on track? What shall you be doing? Because I feel like your person is definitely not happy. What shall you be doing? We have our first card. Let's see some more cards. Okay. Angel therapy, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. I feel like, you know, the divine really wants you to uh, you know, whatever it is that, that makes the connection uh, off right now, whatever your concerns are that you're not sharing that out to the to the person, it's time for you to share it out to the divine and talk about it. Open your heart to the divine and uh, let the divine take care of everything for you. Uh, pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. I feel like, you know, um, there's a lot that, um, that you... Um, that you really need to pay attention to. I feel like you have been ignoring your thoughts. You have been ignoring the inner guidance that you have been getting from the divine. And uh, if you could follow the intuition, if you could take the decisions that were that are being uh, like you know thrown towards you, you will be able to make the right choice, right decisions in your life. It's very important for you to take care of yourself as well and try to um, 
you know, bring some balance and uh, healthy activities in your life. I feel like your life is completely off balance right now. Um, I feel like, you know, this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, maybe they, they are, you know, upset with you because they feel kind of neglected and ignored by you all the time. Uh, let's see some more Urkel cards here. Let's see what else the divine really wants you to work towards to have the balance coming back in your love life with this person or to get the situation better between the two of you. What else should be you should be doing? Flourish. Um, learn to uh, learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or in those of others. I feel like it is very important for you to look within, um, have a time off, uh, uh, off from everything that you've been doing or indulging into. Try, try to bring you know some sort of uh, calmness to yourself from within and try to listen to your heart first of all. And then you will be able to see clearly what, what has made things go wrong in this way. Um, something is hidden about to come to light, perhaps secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. Again, I feel like you know the divine really wants you to set yourself free from any past baggage that you've had uh, or you've been carrying around. It's very important for you to let go of the past. It's very important for you to kind of like, you know, get rid of uh, whatever that is blocking you from moving forward. And I feel like you know, for a majority of you, Maybe the past that you've had is creating the chaos here in the connection. It's very important for you to get rid of the past and, uh, you know, work towards having a new beginning mutually because I really uh, feel that, you know, this connection is something very important. That's why your person is not giving up on you. But at the same time, I really feel like, you know, you are kind of like a... Uh, you know, your person is really disappointed in you for sure. Uh, let's see what... Uh, let's tap into your feelings towards this person. How do you see the current situation? How do you see the current situation? You're feeling blocked. Uh, you feel like, you know, something should happen and uh, this shall happen, that shall happen and things should get fixed. When it comes to you putting effort, you are not putting the effort. Your mental blocks are blocking you. You are keeping like, you know, your distance maintained. You are not talking. You are not like, you know, even though you are hopeful around the future, but still you are not taking the right steps ahead in this connection. I feel like it's high time that you prepare yourself and be open rather than like, you know, keeping it in your heart or in your mind that, okay, fine, one day I will do this. It's time for you to share your intentions with your person. And that's the reason why your love life is suffering because you don't share a bit of it. And uh, which is definitely chaos, uh, creating chaos in your love life. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I hope it was of, uh, of help. And if it did, do like, share, and subscribe. Till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.